Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's session, we will look at 15 uh, Jenkins scenario based uh, interview questions. Now these questions are designed to test your problem solving skills, technical knowledge and also your practical experience with uh, Jenkins. Once again, before I start off with the session, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. So let's dive into this. The first question I have is, you notice that a Jenkins pipeline failed during the deployment stage. How would you troubleshoot and resolve the issue? So uh, for this, we can start off by examining the uh, pipeline console output to simply identify if there's any specific error or there are any failure messages. So when we run the Jenkins pipeline, there's a console output. We can look at that console output to see if there are any error messages or any failure messages. Uh, then we can review the pipeline configuration, including your build steps, your environment variables, your uh, plugin versions to determine what might be the root cause for uh, the pipeline to fail. If necessary, we can also uh, look at the logs uh, from your application, your Docker containers or external services that are involved in the deployment process for further insight. So we can look at all these things to identify what went wrong, why the pipeline failed and then fix the issue and then rerun the pipeline to uh, do the job that we are doing with that particular Jenkins job. The next question we have is after updating a Jenkins pi a plugin, you encounter compatibility issues with existing pipelines. How would you handle this situation? So for this, we will need to first check the release notes and the documentation of the updated plugin. Now we can we do this to simply understand if there are any breaking changes or any compatibility issues for that particular plugin. So any plugin that we have updated, uh, look at the release notes to see if there are any breaking changes or any uh, compatibility issues with the updated plugin. If possible, uh, roll back the uh, plugin update to restore the functionality temporarily while still in wait investigating any alternative solutions. So basically go back to the previous version of the uh, plugin. Alternatively, we can also uh, seek help from the uh, community support or open up a ticket with the a plugin maintainer to address the compatibility issue or simply request for any guidance on uh, mitigating the issue, the, the impact that we are having within the Jenkins pipeline. The next question we have is while triggering a Jenkins pipeline for a feature branch, you encounter a merge conflict with the main branch. How would you proceed to ensure successful pipeline execution? So. Uh, for this, we will need to resolve the merge conflict. So whenever we have a merge conflict, we will need to resolve the merge conflict in the feature branch. Now, either we can uh, resolve the uh, merge conflict manually or rebasing on to the latest changes from the main branch. Now, once the conflict has been resolved, we can push the changes to the remote repositories and then trigger the Jenkins pipeline again to verify the successful execution. So basically resolve the conflict push the changes, trigger the pipeline uh, once again. Additionally, we can also consider implementing automated tests and pre-merge checks to detect in, uh, and prevent merge conflicts in the future. So to avoid this issue in the future, we can implement a pre-merge check. So before the pipeline runs, check if there are any uh, merging conflicts that are happening um, so that you know we can avoid any merge conflicts during the pipeline execution. The next question we have is your Jenkins pipeline fails during the Docker image build stage due to a dependency error. How would you address this issue? So for this, we will need to review the Docker file and also the associated build context to see if there are any missing or incorrect dependencies defined within the Docker file. Then we will need to update the Docker file or the build config to include these uh, dependencies or resolve the version conflicts. Post that, if the issue is still persisting, then we can explore any alternative dependency management strategy, such as using a package manager or uh, using a pre-built base images. And this will ensure we have a reliable and reproducible Docker image builds. So basically review the Docker file to see if there are any dependencies that you are missing. Uh, if possible, add the dependencies and build the image again. 
if that still does not solve the problem then look for any alternative uh, solutions like using a package manager or using a pre-built base images to build our uh, custom images the next question we have is users report slow response times and intermittent failures when accessing jenkins pipelines how would you investigate and improve the performance so for this we can start off by monitoring the uh, uh, jenkins system metrics so like cpu utilization the memory utilization the disk input output network traffic to simply identify any potential bottlenecks or resource constraints so if there's any uh, you know high resource utilization that might be causing the slowness of your jenkins pipeline we can identify that uh, then we can optimize the jenkins configuration settings such as uh, the number of executors that we have or your build queue management or your plugins usage uh, uh, to improve the overall resource utilization and then mitigate any performance issues additionally we can also consider scaling the jenkins so we can either scale jenkins horizontally or vertically and this will help us to handle the increased workload demands all right so these are some of the strategies that we can follow to uh, uh, mitigate the performance issues that we get with your jenkins pipelines the next question we have is your organization requires periodic security vulnerability scans for applications deployed through jenkins pipelines how would you implement automated vulnerability scanning in the CI/CD process so for this we can integrate our jenkins pipeline with security vulnerability tools so we have tools like clare trivi or owasp zap that can be integrated into jenkins pipeline as a post build step or parallel task so like once the package has been built or the once the package has been deployed we can have this uh, task which will basically scan um, the the application for us now these tools they will analyze the container images or the application code or the infrastructure configurations for any known vulnerabilities or security weakness that we might have in the application uh, we can also configure the pipeline to fail the builds or trigger alerts based on the predefined security thresholds that way we can ensure we have a timely detection and remediation of your security issues so uh, let's say we put this in the post build step and uh, the tool identifies that there's a vulnerability we can either have the pipeline fail or trigger notifications to the stakeholders telling that hey there's a, a vulnerability in the application that has been deployed so that way we can remediate any security issues that we might encounter the next question we have is your project involves multiple git branches each with its own jenkins pipeline how would you manage and organize these pipelines effectively so uh, for this we can make use of your jenkins multi-branch pipelines to automatically detect and build the branches based on any predefined pipeline configuration stored in your source con control repository so in jenkins we have this option called multi-branch pipeline job type uh, which can be used to scan uh, multiple branches within a repo and then automatically build a job for that respective repo now this approach it enables for automated management of your branches uh, triggering the builds and reporting the results this will help us to streamline our ci cd process for projects that has multiple branches or feature branches so simply we can make use of the multi-branch pipeline that comes in your jenkins the next question we have is your jenkins pipeline frequently downloads dependencies during build execution leading to increased build times and network bandwidth usage how would you optimize dependency management to improve the build performance so for this we can implement a dependency caching mechanism such as uh, maven or gradle dependency caching now this will help us to store and reuse the dependencies across our builds now how we can do that we can configure our jenkins agents or build containers to cache these dependencies locally so that if there are any subsequent builds that we are doing these builds can retrieve the dependencies more quickly and also reduce the reliance on external repositories additionally we can also explore techniques like dependency prefetching 
or parallel dependency resolution to further optimize the build time. So one option we have is to uh, store the um, uh, dependencies locally so that uh, the, the build does not download the dependencies again and again and again from external sources. So it's like storing a cache on your local machine. The next question we have is your pipeline requires integration with an external service such as a cloud provider or CI/CD platform to perform specific tasks or access resources. How would you securely manage credentials and access permissions for this integration? So for this, we can again leverage credentials plugin to store our sensitive data securely and manage these credentials for external uh, services. So we can have sensitive data such as your API tokens, SSH keys, or uh, service account credentials stored within the uh, credentials manager. Then we can use the Jenkins pipeline syntax uh, to inject these credentials into the pipeline scripts or the configurations. So we can make use of your environment variables or any credentials uh, binding. So that way we can ensure we have a secure and authenticated interaction interactions with external services. So basically don't keep it in the plain text make use of the credentials uh, plugin to store the sensitive data and then inject these secrets into your jenkins pipeline to interact with your external services the next question we have is your team wants to receive real-time notifications and alerts for pipeline build status changes or failures how would you implement automated notifications in jenkins so for this we can make use of your jenkins notification plugins so we have uh, email extensions, Slack notifications, or Microsoft team notifications that can be used to send notifications and alerts to the relevant stakeholders uh, based on the pipeline build event. So if the pipeline is successful, send out a notification. If the pipeline fails, send out a notification. So we can integrate notifications for that. Now for this, we can define our notification um, uh, recipients, uh, templates, and also triggers within the pipeline configuration. So what is the notification you want to send to whom you want to send out the notification uh, uh, when you want to send out the notifications all those things can be configured within the pipeline and this can ensure we have a timely communication and visibility into the overall build status and the progress of the build the next question we have is your organization requires compliance with regulatory standards and auditing of cicd activities in jenkins pipelines how would you implement compliance controls and audit logging so for this we can enable uh, jenkins audit trial plugin to capture and log any cicd activities now the activities can include your pipeline executions user interactions and any configuration changes that we are doing additionally we can also enforce rbac which is your role based access control and permission policies by making use of the jenkins role based access control plugin and this will allow us to restrict access to sensitive pipeline resources and that way we can ensure compliance with uh, regulatory requirements so basically putting security in place uh, uh, capturing all the logs activities um, changes to the configurations all those things will be captured and uh, giving only the necessary permissions all right so that way we can be compliant and also have the regulatory requirements within the jenkins jobs the next question we have is your pipeline involves parallel execution of multiple tasks or stages followed by aggregation of results. How would you implement fan out or fan in orchestration in Jenkins pipelines? So for this, we can use the Jenkins uh, pipeline parallelism features such as uh, using the parallel directive and matrix builds. Now this will allow us to execute the tasks or the stages concurrently across multiple agents or multiple node machines then we can aggregate the results using jenkins join plugin or writing a custom groovy script which will help us to synchronize the pipeline execution and consolidate all the outputs for further processing or analysis all right so we can have uh, the builds running in parallel so we can either have the parallel directive or matrix builds uh, and then we can start aggregating all the results um, and um, uh, synchronizing all the outputs for further analysis. The next question we have is your Jenkins instance is critical to the CI/CD workflow and downtime is not acceptable. 
how would you design a disaster recovery plan and ensure high availability for Jenkins? So for this, we can deploy our Jenkins in a high availability configuration uh, using techniques like uh, active passive uh, failover or load balancing and data replication across multiple nodes or data center. So basically have uh, two identical environments of Jenkins. So let's say um, uh, primary, secondary or active passive uh, uh, setup. Additionally, we can also implement uh, uh, taking regular backups of our Jenkins configurations, uh, job definitions and any built artifacts. That way, if something goes wrong, we can easily uh, recover and maintain the data integrity in the event of a failure or disaster recovery. The next question we have is your team wants to implement a blue-green deployment strategy for uh, uh, rolling out application updates with uh, zero downtime. How would you design and automate blue-green deployment in Jenkins? So for this, um, we can use the Jenkins pipeline to define our blue-green deployment stages. This can include uh, provisioning the infrastructure, deploying the application artifacts, and also routing the traffic between this blue and green deployments. We can also leverage tools like AWS load balancers or Kubernetes ingress controllers. And this will help us to automate the switching of your traffic and then validating the steps to ensure we have a seamless and reliable deployment transitions between the blue environment and the green environment. The next question we have is your pipeline encounters transient failures or intermittent issues during execution. How would you implement self-healing mechanisms to automatically recover from such failures? So for this, we can make use of your retry logic or error handling and failure recovery mechanisms within the Jenkins uh, uh, pipelines. So for this, we can make use of your Groovy 6 scripting or we can make use of your built-in features like catch, error, and retry. So we can also define your fallback actions or exponential backoff strategies or automated rollback procedures that we can use this to enhance the pipeline resilience and reliability, minimizing the overall impact of your transient failures on overall CI/CD workflow. So, you know, that way we can implement your self-healing features and reduce the uh, impact as much as possible on the overall CICD workflows. And that brings us to the end of our scenario-based Jenkins interview questions. Now, these questions will help you ace your next interview or level up your Jenkins skills. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more content and hit the bell icon to get notified uh, of the latest uploads to the channel. Uh, if you have any specific uh, uh, topics that you want me to cover, please leave it in the comments section. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.